In this Android Studio tutorial, I will be showing you how to create a fade animation with an image. So I'm going to show you the fade animation. So first, make sure you have your an activity open. Make sure you got the activity uh, XML open and the content. Exit or just the content activity XML open. So um, first, let's let's place a button here on here so let's add a button we'll call the button I guess we'll call it button 5 it don't matter for the ID we'll set the button ID to button 5 and for the text we'll set it to fade animation next we'll add an image and what we're going to do we're going to fade we're going to bring this image up and then fade it when we click on this button so let's add an image view pick this image select OK now with this image I'm going to I'm going to copy the path to the image from here and I'm going to paste it on background and I'm going to delete it on this uh, source compatibility and then we'll we'll call the image um, image view then I'm going to set the width to 200 dp and the height to 200 DP, which is the width and height of my image. Put that right there. Bring this fade button down. Okay. Um, I'm going to the fade button. So I'm gonna try to. I want to keep it down. So margin from top. Let's just say margin from top. We're going to delete be below the image. Say margin from top. Say 171. See what that does. Okay, let's say. 300 okay so we got the image we got the fade actually let's set that to okay okay that's alright okay so we got that now let's go to the activity and first we'll create the button so let's um, let's create the button we'll create this outside of um, any other method just inside of the main class say button btn animation so we'll name our uh, button variable then we'll create an image view we'll say image view image and if you're um, getting an error with uh, creating these two variables make sure you push alt enter to import these classes if you don't have these classes imported so then we'll come inside of our on create method and go ahead and find our button in our image view so we'll do button animation equals button in parentheses find view by ID say r dot id dot button because that's the um, name of our button view that's the ID for it alright then we'll do the same thing for image view so we'll do image equal to
one second image view find view by ID do r dot id die then we name the image view for so let's check and make sure the name of our image view so the ID is image view okay so we need to go back and change this to image view okay now let's go ahead and create our um, our, our on click button method so let's do the set on click listener so let's type in button animation dot set dot set on click listener then we'll say new inside of here view capital view dot on click listener and then right in the middle between the parentheses and on click listener and the other one we want to add some curly braces your your ID may do this for you I don't know but we want to add that and then we want to override okay I think that's about to do it for me Okay, one override and then public void. We override the default on click method. Parentheses. Okay. Okay, we got that. And um. Got an error. Okay, on click listener. This is right. Set on click. Okay, inside of here we need to put the view. Sorry about that view and then capital uh, case view and lowercase view okay so we got that so inside of this button to click we're gonna uh, put a uh, animation method inside of this button to click view so before we do that let's go ahead and set our image to invisible so when, when we start the app we don't want our, our image showing at first we'll set the visibility to view dot invisible because when we click our button, we're going to bring that image up, and then we're going to fade it out, make it disappear again. Okay, so after we have that, now we want to be uh, completely outside of the on click method, and we're going to create a new method for the um, image animation. So we do public void, call it image animation. Then we'll do animation. IMG for image equals new alpha animation. We'll set that to 1.00f, comma, takes two parameters, 0.00f, so you know it doesn't go nowhere. And if you're getting an error for the animation, you need to uh, import the library. And next, We'll use that same variable dot set duration. Now we're setting the duration. We'll set that to 3,000 milliseconds. So that's how long our image animation is going to run. Then we would come down again and do the same. Another thing, image we set it to not image but img dot set animation listener. Time we're going to set the listener. That's, well, be, 
inside of here we want to or inside of these parentheses we want to we want to put new animation dot animation listener and outside of the parentheses now your ID may make these uh, make create three methods if it's if it did that then that's good mines didn't so I gotta do it by hand so I'm gonna do override at override if yours didn't do it you can just follow along public void on animation you should have an animation start animation end, and animation repeat start animation start so I will do animation animation Okay, and then I'm gonna just I'm gonna copy and paste this two more times. I'm gonna change that from start. I'm gonna put end for the second one. Then for the third one, I'm gonna change start. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna um, replace it with repeat. So you want to have all those three methods. Those are the three default methods that need to be overwritten. And we're not going to do nothing with the repeat. We're just going to use the start and end. So once you have this, um, you're ready to go forward. And yeah, like I said, your ID might have already created these three methods for you. So just leave it like that. Don't, don't mess with it. All right. So inside of here, we want to set our image to uh, visible. So this time, you're going to use the image, not the IMG, but the actual image view. I mean, the image variable view that we did. So image dot set visibility view dot visible and in the end when we end the animation we want to set it back to invisible so we'll do the same thing image dot image dot set visibility view Uh, invisible now outside of the parentheses and the semicolon right outside of this listener make sure you put this in the right place we're gonna we're gonna uh, start the animation so right here we wanna say image regular image star animation inside these parentheses we want to put the, the animation variable the IMG put that in there make sure you put it between um, the end and price of the uh, method and the in between this one for the um, set on listen make sure you put it in between that so we can start it okay and um that should almost be it. okay now we gotta come up here and put our method inside of our on click method so it can uh, run once we set, do the button click okay so we're gonna uh, image animation method so image animation braces to my code okay now everything should be good and one second let's uh, Let's go ahead and run this. Okay, let's run it. It's going to take a second to build.
If you have an error, deep up. Okay, some with this button, right? Some with this. So let's change the let's change the ID of this button. Okay, it's button five. I got button. So it's button ID is so make sure you got the right ID. Let's rerun this. Installing the APK. Okay, we have it up. So when I click on this button, we should see the image pop up and then we should see it fade out. So let's try. There's our image and there's the fade. Image fade. And one more time. Image fade. And that's how you do a fade image in Android Studio. So uh, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe to Urban Programmer. I'm out.